guys so i'm just from the market and i bought quite a number of vegetables and i just had an idea of showing you how i make my vegetables and also I, I want to show you some of the vegetables i've bought because i've got quite a good deal uh, for those of you staying in nairobi you should buy your vegetables in Lulua because i don't think kunamali when it's cheaper than Lulua. so okay like this these are mishiris and these are for practical like I'm not even sure when I'm going to finish them. And then we have these snobbies. These are also for 30 bob. And then this. Yes. So the courgettes, I think they were going at uh, 60 bob a kilo. If I'm not wrong, I don't quite remember. And then I have uh, broccoli and cauliflower. They go for 80 bob a kilo each. But then I didn't buy like uh, I didn't buy the broccoli a kilo and cauliflower a kilo. I mixed them up, but they were I was still given for 80 bob a kilo. So these are the mixed cottage and broccoli and cauliflower and the cauliflower it's actually pretty big you see it's very big so it's a good deal and I'm sure you'll not get that deal anywhere else apart from Uber. and then I have quite some tomatoes and uh, uh, carrots in the fridge so I didn't buy a lot but then you see these tomatoes are like 20 bob and then the carrots the carrots were for 10 bob and they're actually a lot kabisa kabisa there you go guys and then oh uh then there's this one i bought two of them at 10 bob each but then you you should be really careful with avocados you should like find one vendor you can trust so that if you find that avocado you can buy you can be able to return because one thing with cheap avocados either as it akwatam amazimeoza nani so be careful about that. These are my gingers. It's a mix, a mixture of ginger and turmeric. Uh, I've already washed them, but then I've soaked them so that I can wash them again and remove all the matope in them. Uh, this is because I mostly not, I, I mostly don't peel the, the skin off my ginger. So I really have to wash them thoroughly. So guys, let me first uh, cut the vegetables and then we continue with cooking. This is carrots and then uh, snobbies, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, and this is um, this these are dania stalks mixed with ginger and garlic. I normally don't throw away my dania stalks, and this is dania now the leaves, onions, michiri. And then cauliflower and, and zucchini. And these guys, these are the, the throwaway things I've, I've taken from the vegetables. These are from the these are from the broccoli and the cauliflower and then onion peels. Like everything that I removed from here that I'm not going to cook, I put them in this basin, I wash them, and then I boil them to make a stock for my vegetable soup. You should try this, it's very nutritious. So let's get to cooking. Use this pan to do my cooking when I'm cooking the vegetables because at least it hinders it hinders the vegetables from cooking too much. But today, today I'm making a lot of vegetables, so the pan is going to be smaller. So I'll just use my normal sufuria. So I just leave my onions to be translucent. I don't let them cook too much. 
and then I add my dania stalks and ginger. So guys, I should probably mention that I do eat raw vegetables. Like I don't let my vegetables cook. They are mildly cooked and that's how I love them. I love the crunch in them. Yeah. Uh, so even the, the garlic and the ginger, I don't let them cook so much because I want when I bite in them, I feel the, is it the acid or what? Their, their taste, they are more like raw taste. So I give them just a few minutes and I add my mishiri and snow peas. I add them all at once because I want them to cook evenly. So next I add my carrots and then my green bell peppers. And also the green bell peppers guys, if you put them too early, then if they overcook, I find them bitter. So I make sure my green bell peppers stay, stay green and almost raw, like mildly cooked all the time, even if I'm not making my vegetables. And I also don't like my carrots overcooked. So I will add this immediately. So I'll add my yellow bell papers and then the zucchinis and then it's at this stage that I add my salt and pepper So guys, don't worry about this chili. I actually bought it at the supermarket and they said that it's hot chili, but it's really not. That's why I can put so much. And the reason I'm putting uh, my pili pili and salt at the very end is because cogets are usually blunt. So I want to put the salt and the pili pili on top of them so that at least they get a little a little test in them and also i've tried to like soak the cogets uh, with chili and uh, uh with chili salt and some ginger and garlic and the outcome was okay i can't quite complain but then they removed a lot of water which i didn't like so you guys can try and tell me whether you like it or not yeah and also, you can share with us so that we can know how you make your zucchinis to be at, to at least have a better taste than they have. And also, I put my zucchinis at the very last because I never, never, never want to eat uh, zucchinis that are overcooked, like at all. They are the worst thing in my mouth. I don't know about you guys. So there. Also, avoid if you don't want to water in your vegetables, avoid uh, covering your sufuria after you've put the zucchini because they have the most water. And if you cover them, it will come out. So guys, there. There are my vegetables with lots and lots of colors, but they are perfect just for me because this is how I like them. So let me serve and then I'll show you after I've put on my plates. So 
so I forgot to show you guys I made some guacamoles here and it's very easy if you want to make some you can just google uh, online you will find the recipe there so today I normally eat my vegetables with rice but today I'm just eating vegetables alone because I'm trying to avoid carbs this week so I'm just going to eat the vegetables and guacamole and one piece of meat <laughs> and that will be it so there guys now you have it my vegetable recipe uh do tell me uh, comment down below how you make your vegetables whether you like them fully cooked uh halfway cooked like me or just medium uh just say anything and then don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up and then click the notification bell so that you can get my videos every